Oh, welcome back to Just Ignore Them, a creepy sprite-based, uh, pixelated RPG-ish. Well, I mean, like, you know, it's like RPG Maker, but not RPG Maker indie horror game. We're continuing where we left off of being in the kitchen, figuring out what's going on, finding out what's wrong, and who they are, and roaming the kitchen. So let's continue from there. We have back door, we have some kitchen stuff. Let's, like, just search all the kitchen shit. What's in here? Death! Nothing. What's in here? Nothing! Let's find the bleach so we can drink it and end the nightmare. Also, there's a vent shaft there, which is kind of weirdly placed right above the the oven. What's the note say? I see nothing special about it. Of course you do. The note from Mommy. Hi, honey. Just wanted to remind you to make sure you get up early for school. Remember, your alarm clock is ten minutes fast. I'll see you in the morning. And you're still eight, so you, you can't talk. Okay, let's save and then touch the microwave, because I don't trust it. Also, let's check the kitchen drawer first. Mommy, step! Step ladder. Mom is quite obviously short, but didn't they say the step ladder was in the bathroom? Or is just my memory's really shit and the step ladder was always in the kitchen? Okay, let's touch the microwave. Death? Death! Death! Well, either way, I'm going to get all the death scenes. Why the fuck not? Because you guys love death scenes, I'm sure. Everyone who watches indie horror channels love death scenes. I mean, there's usually death scene compilations that get really high amount of views. So, I may as well fucking get all the death scenes. I still have the ladder, though, so my me dying by that was inconsequential with everything else. I just have to pay attention to when I have to go back to the bookshelf, because there might be a time... Lavender smelly things. Did I pick it up? Lavender scent. Huh. He said that the monsters hate uh, mommy's perfume, so maybe I could use this to my advantage. Could I use it on the microwave? That won't work. Put it in the pot. Put it in the sink. Let's check the back door, if it isn't death, of course. Is something dying? Maybe I should stay inside for now. Oh, handprints. Okay. How about we touch it again? <laughs> Death now? Oh, no, it's just it's just repeating. Okie dokie, that was a little weird. But okay. That's fine. It's plenty fine. We're leaving. Hmm. I still don't trust you know the linen closet because it has a smiley face on it. I'm gonna click everything with a smiley face anyways on it because uh Um Also what else do I have? A ladder of the robot. The screws are for the vent. The ladder's for the vent. That's ridiculous. Yes it is. Um I don't know what to use the robot on. Um maybe maybe at a later point in time. Can I put like the linen under the closet so I don't you know, like, if they hate the smell, I'm, I'm going to think it's going to be used either as a trap. Oh, oh, mouse hole. Okay, now the wall smells nice, and so does the vent. Oh, did I just save myself from getting killed? It says the vent smells nice, so... <sighs> hmm... I want to go back. I, I want to fucking go back. Load. Load. Okay, we got everything, right? Okay. What the fuck? I'm at the garbage. Okay. I want to see what happens if I go in the vent. I want to see if it is a, de a death animation. So it'd be... Just give me one second to go back up there. I just want to see if I die. If I don't put the lavender up there, it's one of those things where it's like, you will die if you don't do it precisely in the right order. And if so, then I want to see the death animation, of course. Alright, now that I'm in the room... Save... Let's do the ladder without the lavender, and let's see if we die by trying to get in the vents. Screwdriver. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. As I thought. Lavender in the mouse hole. Saying, and so the vent smells nice is, uh, really was <laughs> a good uh, eye opener. Because he did fucking say there's something in the... What? 
I don't know if I want to ask what the fuck that noise was about. What slot? It's scratched with a number. 910. Okay. 910 vent. Strange. Oh! To the. Here. Was the toilet going to kill me? Let's save and find out. Should I go or just hold it? Yes! Especially if you die. Yes! I knew it! Death by toilet! And even sucked into it. Oh. I fit down the drain. Where's the blood though? I want to see the blood gushing out like it's a Freddy Krueger fucking movie. Okay. Um. No. I better hold it. It's just a toilet. Robot, will you go in the toilet? No? Okay. Bathroom cupboard. I know all these keys in here somewhere. Key to mom's room is in the bathroom cupboard. Okay. Bathtub? I usually love taking baths, but that water does not look inviting. Hmm. The bathtub is... Okay, so... Um... I, I guess that's it. The toilet is fucking evil. Mommy's bedroom key. Alright, moving on. Save. Home locked. Mommy, are you in there? I'm coming in. You better not be having sex with a stranger. Oh. Mommy! No! Press F to pay respects. She's just sleeping. Mommy, why are you bleeding? Why are you eating ketchup in the middle of the night? I can save you. This is just a bad dream, I hope. And there she was. Laying in a pool of blood. I, I, I clicked that too fast. Fuck me. It's funny. I knew this was coming. But I wasn't fast enough. And now she's dead. Oh. Thanks. So you're saying if I played the game faster... Dad. This looks weird. Hey, thanks for the coffee. Is this his dad or me in the future? Don't mention it. We don't usually get customers at 5 a.m. except for you. Oh, I, I'm trying to vi visualize this, this screen. It looks really like a mangled mess, but it's the light coming in through the windows that makes it just look really weird. And that everything actually is designed to have a, like a cast or god rays or shadows. Sorry about that, I couldn't sleep. What's on your mind, hun? Have a... Uh, well, you know the feeling as if you're being watched, right? Oh yeah, every time I finish my shift, I feel like someone is stalking me. Oh, that's a great feeling. Why, is someone stalking you? Well, sort of. Look, just forget it. You probably won't believe me anyway. My mom was killed when I was eight years old. By these things that I hid in my closet. Look, Mark, you've been in here every day for, what, five years now? You know you can talk to me about anything. I know. Remember when I told you about my mother... Who can forget? It was all over the news. I still remember when I was a little girl. September 4th, 2000. Okay, so this is in the future now. So, I'm curious on whether or not... Like, the things written in the walls, it being that... The clock said it was 7 o'clock. And they said it was 10 minutes ahead. And when I was in the... Hmm, actually, I think maybe it, the, the numbers scratch... Like, it, it, hear me out. I was trying to think that a theory was, like... The events, everything was writing down what time it is. Like, say, 8.40, it was 8.40 p.m., and in the vents, it was 9.10 p.m., that perhaps it was tracing how far ahead I was, and if I got to the mother faster, or before 9 o'clock, she'd still be alive? Maybe? I don't know. Because it does say this has multiple endings. So, who knows? I'll have to try it out in the future, after I'm done playing this, if that's a, um, a credible theory or not. Are you sure you want to talk about her? You get pretty upset about what happened. Yes. No, it's okay. I want to. When I found her body, there was someone else... It, wait, what? There's someone else? No, she wasn't murdered. What? She wasn't murdered? Do you know what day it is? I'm sorry, Mark, she killed herself. Oh. So... He's at disbelief that they killed him, and this is the way he's convinced himself? But what I'm about to say, you definitely won't believe. It was a monster. 
So, wait, the monster then didn't murder her. You're saying the monster made her commit suicide rather than the monster murdered. What? I told you, you wouldn't believe me. I'm sorry, Mark, it's a little far-fetched for me to believe. What, I'm sorry about what happened, it's okay. How about you start the story from yesterday morning after you found your mother? Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes, Mark, it's still 5.30 a.m., we don't open until 7. Okay, after I found her body... We're going back in time now? What? Where do I go now? What do I do? No matter, they still will follow me. I, until I give my last breath, they will find me. What if you just kill them? I, I, you know? If you're... I don't... He's old enough to drive now. Why don't you just come at them and just stab them or shoot them? I don't know. Whenever I mention them, people... But they die? Yep. So, so you're trying to say you made it so deliberate the cafe lady is going to die now. Yeah, okay. Congratulations, you know what happened, but you made it so she died by telling her the story. Okay. Okay, she, you know, she, she, she's dead now. That's cool. Good job. You, you basically murdered them. I have to keep on the road. I can never go back now. I've lived here for too long. I've met too many people. And this is all I have ever known. And nothing will ever change that. There is no hope. Like, it, only pain. Is this an ending or something? No? Okay. It's gonna be another six hour drive. Better stop and rest. They shouldn't follow me this far out. What makes you so sure? So, I mean, like, there's so many things to question. It's like, why would... He's saying every time you tell the story, they die. So it would have been better off if I didn't fucking tell her to begin with. So hitting no would have been the better choice. Because apparently the information I was given after is... Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell you. If you tell them the story about the monsters, they kill themselves. So apparently the monsters make it so... The monsters don't murder other people. They only murder him. But anyone else who learns of them kills themselves. That's the that's maybe the misconception or the story thus far. Need to get out of the ring. Let's take the toolbox or what's in it. I'll take my screwdriver. Well, it's the only tool in there. I should really buy more tools. This is the keepsake from before everyone, you know, fucking died. I can't do anything with it. Garbage can, radio, nothing on the bottom floor. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll check in. I um, mean, I want to check the vending machine. Uh, room 17 and room 3. I'm not sure which one's mine. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Now let's talk to this guy. Well, howdy there. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. Whoa! Name's old Bill. How can I help you? I'm looking to spend the night. Do you have anything valuable? Uh, well, I do have something. It ain't pretty. It'll keep your head dry. It's umbrella. Thank you. Say, why do you call yourself old Bill for anyway? You don't look that old. Ha, son, I'm barely 50. As a matter of fact, I just turned 49 the other day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. That's nah, okay, son, I ain't ashamed of my age. Okay. Oh, one more thing. All the phones in the rooms work, but come see me if you need to out-call number. If I need to make a call, I know who to see. Thank you. Huh. Mm. Registry book. I can't do anything with it. I am not a thief. Uh, telephone. I can't do anything with it. No tone. Must be a call out number. Well, let's check out the guy's computer and shit. Computer. And you better not touch it, son. I'm sure I will later. I mean, it's drawn there for probably a purpose, such as investigating something after this guy dies. Because I'm sure he'll die. The prices are outrageous. Okay, which one's my room? Is my room the one with the barbecue, or is my room over there? I'm gonna save and figure that out, because I'd rather not have it so I can enter a room than can't exit or something. Radio. Doubt it will work now since it's been in the rain. Uh, old grill, it's been recently used on some sort of roadkill. Disgusting. I shouldn't disturb the other guest. Huh. So the only person I can talk to is a person that's in room three. I guess we'll be meeting them later, and our room is room 17. It's a little strange being that this room's 17. Need to see someone about a room first. Ow! Oh. Okay. Also, I want to check that mailbox. One second. Jesus Christ. I'm curious. I want to touch everything. Mailbox? If 
fire extinguisher. It'll be useful later. Okay, let me get a room. May I ask what your birthday is? Well, I can't tell you that, huh? Personal information, son. But you just told me it was a few days ago. But not which day it was. See, your son, enjoy your stay. I mean, why it may sound strange. Why you ask for his birthday to begin with? A little weird, but it's very much a mystery. Key rack. I better ask for a room first. Back here is for employees only, and me. Yeah, well, I want a room. H how do I get a room? What do I have to do to get a fucking room? Oh, room key. Fuck me, Jesus Christ. I already got a room key, apparently. Because when I click the door, he doesn't say, like, hey, I, I, I could need to unlock it first. He says, I need someone to room, but I have a key. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe if the text said, I need to lock it, unlock it first, that would help. I didn't look at my inventory. Well, isn't this the penthouse suite? Oh, look, they managed to remove almost all the stains from the bed. Well, from you pissing them yourself? I can't do anything with it. Old television probably hasn't worked in years. It'll turn on. But being that the face of it is turned away from me, then who knows. Mm, it's a shitty looking bathroom, that's for sure. Am I gonna die if I touch the toilet in this one? Interesting concept, but like for me, I don't need to go. There's like yellow shit coming from the vent. Creepy old wardrobe. There's little scratch marks in the back, probably from a small animal. Let me guess, is it a number? Is it a number? No. A note. Dear guest, please do not try to open the glass sliding door to the balcony. The lock has been broken for some time. Enforcing it will dislodge the door. Enjoy your stay. So what is this, like a conundrum of should I or shouldn't I? I want to dislodge it and see if that like gets it so I get killed or something. Oh, this balcony. So that's not even a second floor, that's the balcony in the back. And it's saying, if I dislodge it, there's something that'll be completely bad regarding this in the balcony, 100%. Uh, outside of that, though, I guess I'll be going to bed. And then the monsters are going to show up and then kill everyone. I just fell back onto the bed and gazed at the cracks in the ceiling. I thought I could finally have some time to myself. The more I gazed, the bigger the cracks would become. I had too much on my mind. I wonder if Mary was okay. Who the fuck is Mary? Room 3? She would be opening a- oh, the diner? Oh, you mean the one you killed! If I ever return to a normal life, I'll ask her on a date. Well, she's dead! Soon enough, I fell asleep. I can be guaranteed if there's a good or perfect ending, I'm definitely not getting it. Soon enough, I fell asleep. I felt cold. Very cold. Like when I walked into Mom's room. Was the fucking old Bill gonna be dead in his room or something? I can't sleep. Well, that's a good sign. I need to know if Mary's safe. I'll call the diner. She should still be working, but I need a out call number first. Better go see the manager. What time is it? Doesn't tell me. Television? Nope. No. 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 Bathroom's open though. Why? What's with the light source? Like here. What's beaming in the light? Hmm. I'm saving it first, though. Like, what is the light source coming from? Is there a window here? Let's check outside to see if there's a window. Um. Hmm. I shouldn't peep in my own fucking window? Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's go in here and hope he's not fucking dead. Where did he go? Maybe I should look around. Okay. Let's steal some money! Check the register. There must be a list of everyone in the motel. Only two people. Me and uh, someone named Paris Eve. Well, that's a cool name. Such a fancy name. Paris Eve, though. I don't know, but France is no longer France, as they say. Ah, uh, key rack. There's a strange looking key here. It says Bill's Happy Place. I'm going to be questioning Bill's character. This guy has some issues. Yeah, he possibly has a motel room that's just his fucking, like, rape dungeon or something. Also, I'm going to leave it here. It's been too long. Um, 
weird shit happening, but hey, it's it's still interesting, and uh, I do like the detail at least put in this game, even with the pixel art looking like it's... Like, it looks like pixel art I'd probably see from someone who's, like, really young. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's like, if you go to, like, Game Joel and see all the kind of games amateur indie developers make, usually you see it with a very amateurish pixel art style. And usually it's Minecraft related or some kind of Minecraft spin-off and pixelated, uh, you know, like, really simplistic art style. And that's what the kind of vibes I get from this, but unlike them, this at least has the... Uh, good detail put into it that compare it sort of contrasts against what I kind of already see in Game Jolt that's usually crappy looking at least and I'm not saying this is crappy look I'm just saying it reminds me of it and I'm, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna stop ranting but either way I'm gonna end it here I hope you've been enjoying this in the mystery and look forward to the endings the numerous endings and the weird shit that's gonna happen and people dying and finding out more about the story so hope you look forward to that and if you will and do please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button and make a subscriber and also be sure to share this video to all your friends and shit like that that would help greatly and until the next time <clears throat> They want me to go in the basement, but I'm gonna look here first. Click, click, click. Great! They want me in the fucking basement. Great! Great. Fucking can't wait. Great! Okay. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it.